Well, hello, boys and girls. We got a special day today. How special is it, Caitlin? So special. Tell them why. It's our one year anniversary today. Woo! -wee. What do they say? The first is the worst? It's the worst. So, if our first year was the worst year, then things are looking pretty good. But, anyways, we got a little something special planned today champagne, caviar, and mahi. We have a little late start to today to the day. It's 2 p.m. right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run right off the coast of Key Largo, right out to 200 feet of water, and then we're gonna start trolling for mahi out there. We got some weedless squid rigs we'll troll. We got some pitch baits. We got it all. We'll see what we get onto, but I think that's all. Oh, there is one shout out I have to give today, and that is to Caddy Can. If you're on a boat, you probably have the problem of your trash. You probably put your trash in a bucket like I used to. But then usually what happens when you're going fast, the wind blows all your trash off the boat. Not with the caddy can. It's like a slit. Yeah, it's got a slit. So you just put your beer in there that doesn't blow out. And it's got straps so you can just strap it right to your T-top wherever you want it. Caddy can. Okay, let's go fishing. Yeah, let's do it. Enough talking. <laughs> all systems go. We made it out here to we're, we're in 200 feet 250 feet of water right now that's the depth and uh what i'm doing right now is i'm just cutting up some ballyhoo we'll have some chunks that way if we see some mahi we'll just throw chunks out at them catch them that way um and we'll do some trolling too it's fishing time oh yeah mahi so many of them Here, come reel this guy in. Yeehaw! Alright, fish on, fish on! Woo, look at him go! Oh, yeah! Yeah, reel him in more. I like this route, Okay, first fish. He's a good size. Yeah, he's a size you like, right? <clears throat> Turn the engine off. We didn't catch a mai. We, we saw like a hundred, but we trolled through them. We threw baits at them. They, they weren't interested. We met our buddy Craig out there way offshore. They weren't catching anything either. So sometimes you have days like this, but no matter what, it's going to be a good day because we are celebrating our special day. Aww. So before we ride in, we're going to pop this champagne have a sip but don't worry i'm not gonna leave you guys hanging dry we're gonna come back out here that'll be in this episode we'll have like part two yeah there'll right? be a part two but first let's just have a sip of this it's probably a little shook up because it's been <laughs> rocking in the rocking in the uh cooler almost oh it wants to pop you ready this one's for the mahi We save our corks too, so we gotta go get that. I was just like, yeah, wait, we need that. 
where's the caviar? Come on, Caitlin, you need a sip. Because I forgot to pack glasses. But I mean, this is more fun anyways, right? Yeah, this is way more fun. Come on, Corky. I don't even think cork is considered littering though, is it? It's a cork, it's wood. But we collect them, so that's how we keep track of how much we drink, is by looking at how many corks we have in the house. It's actually embarrassing how little we've right? drank this yeah. year compared to Dan and Elizabeth's. <laughs> Dan, I'm watching you. They got a thing like this big just filled to the top. They got two big glass vases filled to the top with corks. Talent. This is the part I've been waiting for all day long. A spoon, a champagne okay. colored spoon. Caitlin got us new silverware for the new house. That's right, we're moving into a house. I think that's the first time I'm officially announcing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we got ourselves a hard boiled egg. Mm. Take a bite of that. Take yourself some fine caviar. I wasn't kidding when we said we were gonna have champagne and caviar. Oh my God, it's so good. I was kidding though when I said it was going to be champagne, caviar, and my hand. Oh no. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in a couple days. The very next evening. And just like that, day two. So yesterday we went out, we looked for mahi, we couldn't find them, but I spoke with a whole bunch of people and it turns out everyone that went offshore yesterday had a hard time catching the mahi, so I feel a lot better about myself. But right now it's six o'clock. It's pretty late in the day and we just decided to take a real quick run out here right to the reef's edge. We are in 120 feet of water. And we're just gonna drop a couple of bonita strips down, hopefully for mutton snapper. So the rig we got is, this is the stinger tip which is on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com, but it's just a little piece of wire with a hook. I got a fresh cut sliver of bonita that we caught the other day trolling. Yeah, we'll just like lightly hook it so it's got a lot of action as it floats through the water. Then what we're gonna do is this is 30 pound mono and I have about maybe 30 feet of that on here. So just flick it out. And then at the end of the mono where it goes to my braid, I have a loop. See that loop? Mm -hmm. I just tied a loop in there. Take your weight. In this case, it's a 10 ounce weight and I have it attached to the weight clip, which is also available on the SouthWorldFishChannel.com website. <laughs> and you just hook it right into your loop. I don't even bother closing the swivel. I just leave it open. It doesn't come off. And um, we'll drop it down to the bottom. And once you get to the bottom, Wait for it. Shouldn't take long, 10 ounces and 120 feet. Shouldn't take long at all. Three, two, one. Okay, we're on the bottom now. Put it in your rod holder. Now all you do is wait till that sucker bends on over. Yes, fish on, fish on. Yeah, girl. Yeah, baby. What's it feel like? I don't know. We needed this. We needed this. All right. I'll grab that weight. All right. Real, real, real. Is that a little mutton? So cute. Mutton! He's like 18.2. He's good. Thanks, Sam! Woo! Oh, he's my favorite. That's great. He looks like yeah. a tasty snack. He's so beautiful. Mutton snapper used to be 16 inches only, but now they're 18 inches. He's like 18.2, so barely legal. Who the heck cares? <laughs> yeah, we got fish on the boat. No, he, he's good size. He's fat, so. Yeah. Really excited to cook him on up. Uh, all it takes is one. I think I got a fish on. All right, all right. Come on, come on. I feel it on there. Yeah, is it on? Yes, it's on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, fish on. Oh, you're on. You're on, Caitlin. You're on over there. Oh, that's a big boy. Woohoo! Double hookup. I'll bring mine up quick. 
pop the weight off. Bop! Yeah, that's probably a big mutton. Oh, and I got a nice yellow tail! Woohoo! You got a fish? Yeah, bring it on up! Bring it on up! Oh! Fish out! Fish out! Oh, I can't get it on a damn rod holder! Dang it! It's oh. gone? <sighs> Couldn't reel it in because I was holding the god dang camera! That's rough. That's what happens when I have to videotape all the time. I just lose fish left and right. Make some room back here for the landing. Okay, here I'll do. It. You want me to do the weight? Yep. Real, real, real hard. That's a nice mutton. That's a nice mutton. Holy! Oh wait, no, it's a boom. I think it's a white margate. Holy smokes! That thing fought good. He's big, He's a big boy. All right. All right. He's good. Right? He's a decent little a juicer. That's like a like a little little meathead fish. Boom. Boom. All right. Bingo bingo. We managed to fill the box with three fish pretty quickly after spending almost all of yesterday with no fish. Well actually we did get a bonita yesterday. I say we're gonna call it a day, head in head and in it's the sunset. Yeah, ride into the sunset and do do some cooking. Morning. All right, all right. I've the fish has been sitting on ice overnight. It's time to fillet them. I'll be filleting them right over there on that cooler. Kablam! And there they are in all of their glory. We got the white margate, the mutton snapper, and the yellowtail snapper. Since it's Caitlin's and I's one year anniversary, I want to do a little something special. I'm going to make a Brazilian style snapper soup and margate i guess i'm put all three of them in there so let's go and flan them flan flan them on up flan them on up flan on up is that a word Am I dark looking? You just look like a ghost. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, welcome to the kitchen. We're working with very terrible lighting today because just our studio lights have, I think, are starting to break. Well, you know, Kitty, like, yeah, I usually tackles them and stuff. The cat tackles them. The light on top of the camera broke. This is a tough business we're in. <laughs> Tough business, but good cooking. So we got this Brazilian recipe that we basically butchered into something that's probably not Brazilian anymore. Definitely not. Here's how it goes. So this is all the fish cubed up. We're gonna take some lemon, or lime. And by the way, thank you to my subscriber, Brian, that sent me this zester. I've never used it before, so let's see. I, th I think you just- You go like against the- yeah. Like this? Like against the grain, yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, you smell that? Okay, so all the zest is in there. How do I get it out? Okay, like this. You see that zest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Brian, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, that's probably good. Then I cut the lime in half. And I'm gonna squeeze the lime on the fish here. Oh yeah, 
Then we'll take some salt. By the way, I had a subscriber send me this salt shaker too, so thank you guys. Y'all making this kitchen much fancier. All right, got our salt, and then we're just gonna kind of mix it, get that lime juice and that salt nicely spread around all the fish. And then we're gonna let this sit for a second. We'll put this away. Next step, we got potatoes, carrots, chopped up habanero, and some garlic cloves. I got a little bit of oil heated up in here. We are just going to drop, whoa. Wow. The habanero? Yeah, the habanero. Wow! <coughs> oh god, the habanero's got me. We actually, oh, woo, that habanero. Woo. We had a subscriber make us this cutting board. It's like everything in this kitchen is from our subscribers. Right, yeah. So we're gonna let this simmer for about four minutes, and then we're gonna add chicken broth, coconut milk, and some herbs and spices. The very last, we put the fish in. I don't think this is what the zester was made for. Oh my god, right It's been about four minutes. Got a nice little sear going on here. And it's time to add chicken broth. We'll add about a cup of this. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That is more than a cup. Yeah, we have a lot of fish. We'll add one can of coconut milk oops we'll add about a just a squirt of tomato paste there we go a dash of paprika subscriber sent me this paprika how funny is that a dash of cayenne pepper pepper probably don't need too much pepper and then salt for salt we have this Himalayan pink salt. Just some cubes. Oh, and we're gonna let that simmer for about five or six minutes, and then we'll throw in the fish for another five minutes and it'll be ready. And while this is simmering, let me explain something. This is the stinger rig, or the stinger tip that we caught the mutton snapper on. And somebody told me that there's a new law coming out in a few months that you're only gonna be allowed to catch snapper on circle hooks. You can't target snapper with like a treble hook or a J hook. Crazy, right? And that's actually crazy to me. The reason that I use the treble hook on wire is because a lot of times when we're bottom drifting, we'll hook into mackerel, kingfish, and other stuff. So I love having the wire, the wire and the treble hook, and you just catch every fish on it. Awesome rig. But in the future, once the new law comes in place, you can only catch grouper and snapper on circle hooks. So instead of using those stinger tips down the line for bottom drifting, I'll be using the South Florida Fishing Channel circle hooks. Got them in size five, size four, then you got the smaller ones. This one's good for yellowtail and a uh, mangrove snapper. And then your bigger ones for the muttons and grouper. That's an update. We'll see, we'll see about that <laughs> when that law comes into play. I completely forgot cilantro. We want to put some cilantro in and also half of a, a lime. Squeeze half a lime in here. Oops. Now what we need is a lime and lemon squeezer. <laughs> put a little more cilantro in there. You know what I think it's time for? The fish. Look, the lime is already like cooking it a little bit. You see how it's kind of turning white? Oh yeah, okay. Might be a splash, maybe not. The, the fish cooks fairly fast, so this should only take about four minutes, five minutes max. Look, the fish is already turning white. Yeah, fish cooks real quick. So what we got here is, um, this is jasmine rice, or bas basmati rice. I think so. yeah. what, what? Caitlin made the rice. Thank you, Caitlin. Okay. This is done cooking. We're gonna ladle ourselves. Wow, you see that fish? Mm -hmm. Flaky, white perfectness. I want a little more fish in there. Looking pretty good, huh? Yeah. Now I have to ask, Caitlin, yes. don't you want the first bite and be on camera? Oh my gosh, I know. So everyone doesn't think you're just heartless. No, I do not. 
I do not want to be in camera. I do not want the first bite right now. Thank you, though. I always get comments that Caitlin's going to leave me, and I'm not gentleman-like because I don't give her the first bite on, ca on camera. But he always asks. I just choose not to have it. This is your time to shine. I promise I'm nice. <laughs> Let's just start with a nice piece of fish. I'm not sure if this is the mutton snapper or the white margate because all the fish kind of blend together. I know it's not the yellowtail because it's too big of a piece. Mmm. You're really gonna like this. Yeah, I'm excited. I think this is the white margate. I think I just ate the mutton snapper. Wow. It's got a little spice to it. It's got some of that coconut taste. It's got like a fresh taste from the lime and the cilantro. It's just like a really uplifting, delightful meal. Mm. Oh my gosh. This one's going in the recipe book. Yeah, I gotta, we gotta remember it. One day I will make a recipe book with like my hundred favorite recipes, but that won't be for another couple of years. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. We had a great time fishing. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to catch some fish and support the channel, buy some of the SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com fishing rigs and we'll catch you guys on the next episode.